The starting line is China. Then they move across the North Pacific Ocean into Central America, then up through Mexico. Their final destination is the United States. The Rio Grande Valley is their first stop. The reason maybe they come to this border is we are the shortest migratory route from, say, from um, the, the southern border of Mexico. So it's what we call the eastern migration route. South Texas College political science associate professor Jennifer Clark focuses on human trafficking and migration. Clark estimates many of the Chinese nationals may be coming here thinking they are getting a job. They probably don't know that they're being labor trafficked. Usually, basically what happens is you get recruitment agencies in, like in China or in India um, that recruit them. They usually bring them on ships to somewhere in Central America. Clark says they get false promises. They're going to end up having to pay for their travel. They have to pay for whatever visas, if they get visas, etc. cetera. Um, and so what happens is they end up in like what we call debt bondage because they end up in so much debt from traveling to the United States, the interest rates are really high. So then smugglers on this side of the border, they can force them to work for them while they're paying off this debt. The Chinese nationals cross the U.S. border. Some are smuggled. Others are caught as they try to cross on their own. Agent Dustin Araujo explains they've seen an increase of Chinese national apprehensions here in the valley. Over the weekend, Border Patrol agents at the Falfuria station uh, intercepted a smuggling attempt in a tractor trailer where 15 Chinese nationals were discovered. Clark is trying to understand why more people from China are making their way here. She says it's providing more business for the criminal organizations that bring them through Mexico. In my interviews that I conducted with a smuggler, um, a coyote in Honduras, he was charging $12,000 to bring somebody from Honduras to, the, to this border. So you can only imagine how much it, it would cause for Chinese nationals to come. A real hefty fee. Clark says in her research, when tougher immigration measures increase on our border, the price for people making the journey will increase. This leaves federal agents with no choice but to use their resources to stop the illegal activity. Border Patrol agents tell us Chinese nationals are processed the same way as people from Central America are. They have translators that contract to help with their claims. In the studio, Angelo Vargas, Channel 5 News at 10.